In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Siena. At number one, we have Piazza del Campo. This vibrant square is the heart of Siena, offering a plethora of cafes and shops for a delightful shopping and dining experience. It's a perfect spot for people watching and soaking in the lively atmosphere of the city. At number two, we have Duomo di Siena. This impressive cathedral stands as a testament to Siena's rich history and architectural prowess. Its intricate designs and majestic presence make it a must-visit landmark for anyone exploring the city. At number three, we have Biblioteca Piccolomini. This library is not just a treasure trove of ancient texts, but also a window into the life of Aeneas Silvio Piccolomini, who later became Pope Pius II. The library's historical significance and architectural beauty make it a fascinating stop for history buffs and casual tourists alike. At number four, we have Centro Storico di Siena. This historic center of Siena is a delightful and enchanting area that transports visitors back to medieval times with its narrow, winding streets and well-preserved buildings. At number five, we have Torre del Mangia. For those willing to climb its 400 steps, this tower offers breathtaking views of Siena, providing a unique perspective of the city's layout and surrounding countryside. At number six, we have Azienda Agricola La Lastra. This vineyard on the outskirts of Siena offers an insightful and enjoyable tour where visitors can learn about the winemaking process and indulge in some wine tasting. At number seven, we have Scuola di Cucina di Lella. Offering delightful and fun cooking classes, this school allows visitors to dive into the world of Italian cuisine, learning to prepare delicious dishes under expert guidance. At number eight, we have Complesso Museale Santa Maria della Scala. This museum complex is a marvel of architecture and history, featuring multiple levels and amazing rooms, including an internal street and a subterranean church. At number nine, we have Palazzo Publico and Museo Civico. This museum offers a stunning collection of historical artifacts and artworks, providing a deep insight into Siena's rich cultural and artistic heritage. At number 10, we have Baristero di San Giovanni. Located behind the cathedral, this baptistry is a significant religious site with beautiful frescoes and mosaics that captivate visitors. At number 11, we have Santuario di Santa Caterina. This serene and peaceful sanctuary offers a tranquil retreat for visitors looking for a moment of reflection and solitude amidst their travels. At number 12, we have Museo dell'Opera Metropolitana. Housing a collection of paintings, statues, and relics, this museum provides a glimpse into Siena's artistic and religious history. At number 13, we have Palio di Siena. This thrilling horse race, held twice a year, is a spectacle of color, excitement, and tradition, drawing crowds from all over to participate in the festivities. At number 14, we have Al Orto de Pecci, a green paradise in the middle of Siena. This garden offers a magical escape with its lush vegetation and charming atmosphere. At number 15, we have Faccia Tone. This unfinished wall of a cathedral offers fantastic views of the city after a substantial climb, making it a rewarding destination for those seeking a panoramic vista. At number 16, we have Crypta del Duomo di Siena. Though not an actual crypt, this site is intriguing and worth a visit for its historical significance and unique features. At number 17, we have Madonna Bella Winery and Amp Farm. Known for its delightful wines and olive oil, this winery offers a tasting experience that appeals to both connoisseurs and casual wine drinkers alike. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Siena. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.